Hey folks, welcome back to uh, Mod Your Vape. Today we will be doing a juice review. Got um, three bottles of juice here. I had four. The uh, fourth one is not for me. It is a Kentucky bourbon and chocolate vape. Um, I'm not big on any liquor vapes or alcohol vapes. Not due to the fact that I'm in anything against alcohol or liquor. I just, they don't, they have a, a, a too weird of a flavor to me. But um, I will vape these three here and discuss flavor and discuss vapor production. But um, let's jump into this. All right, first I want to give a shout out to um, Drock over at Lung Punch Vape for um, sending me these 15 mil bottles. They are a 80 VG, 20 PG blend. These are three milligram Nick strength. Uh, nice glass bottle, glass dropper. Um, the uh, top is not childproof, but I did speak to him and I think he's going to use childproof tops in the release bottles. I will be vaping on a dual parallel box here. I will be vaping a Nimbus at a point one six, AGI at a point four, and a Tobe at a point three two. Let's go ahead and start with the Nimbus. Now the Nimbus, the holes are bored way out for airflow. We will vape the Corner Man first. I'm looking over here at my other computer monitor. Corner Man is French Vanilla Custard. Now when I first got this, upon opening the bottle, the first note you get is that French Vanilla, like a... Like a almost like a coffee French vanilla and the custard the custard comes through a little bit um, I think maybe you know a, a, a touch more on the custard and I, I, I gotta add I'm really not a French vanilla vape type of dude um, I do like French vanilla in my coffee and um, hazelnut but uh, a French vanilla vape, to me, the French vanilla kind of, it gets burnt due to the coils. So it adds a little bit different flavor to it. And don't get me wrong, I mean, this is an excellent vape here. As you can see, I mean, I've vaped a good amount out of the bottle. Um, as you can see, this box and this build put out some vape. Especially with this AD20 blend. This is the uh, Corner Man again. Go ahead and give it a little toot. Juice it up one more time for you. Vapor production is great. Throat hit spot on. And, you know, for not being a fan of a, a vanilla, French vanilla vape, it, the flavor is excellent. That was the Corner Man, which is a French vanilla custard. Um, next, I will vape the contender contender is a cheesecake flavor this is a mango and caramel cheesecake I'm guessing it's a mango flavored cheesecake with a caramel drizzle we will vape this on the AGI which is a single coil at like I said a point four Now I get the, the mango smell and the cheesecake smell right away. Um, and when I vape, 
it's 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 spot on with those two flavors. The caramel, I believe, could use a little bit more caramel, and um, maybe a uh, graham graham cracker crust for the exhale. And um, I vape all mine with no drip tip. I'm not a drip tip person unless it's super wide bore. Um, the cheesecake flavor on his cheesecake juices are, are spot on. The mango's in there with a uh, a touch of the caramel. I mean, just a touch of the caramel. I, me personally, I would do a little bit more caramel so that folks know, you know, it's it's a drizzled caramel. If that's what you're going for, um, go ahead and unscrew this AGI. Take this tobe. Off the boosted box. Screw it down. And. Last but not least is the Bloody Boxer. I stated earlier the Kentucky Bourbon and Chocolate, and I believe there's six other flavors in it. Um, I won't be vaping that. Just it's, it's not my cup of tea. I have it in the steep safe. He uh, autographed the bottle and serialized it, so that one will, I guess, be a collector's item. Now this is the Bloody Boxer, which is a strawberry and coconut cheesecake. And like I said, man, the cheesecake flavor is, is spot on. It's almost like I'm eating cheesecake filling as I'm vaping this. Um, the strawberry, you can smell it. Taste it on the exhale. Vapor production on these are, are excellent. It's an 80-20 blend. I don't know if he's going to keep the 80-20 in these or go with a 70-30 you know, or even lower on the blend. But um, I'm digging the blend. I'm digging the flavors. He also sent me the uh, Japanese cotton. Dropped it over at Lung Punch Vape. Thank you for that, man. Excellent stuff. I won't be using any other cotton from now on. I can guarantee that. I might even carry it on my site. But, um, yeah, man. Great juice. Um, I like the labels. The labels, you know, they, they give a, a description. Not a flavor, but, um, you know, they, they tell you the ingredients. Um, he breaks down, you know, keep out of reach of children and pets. This product contains nicotine and may be fatal if ingested. Not to be sold to anyone under the age of 18. And then you have the ingredients which contains vegetable, glycerine, propylene, glycol, nicotine, and artificial and natural flavorings. Um, then you have the milligram label. Then you have the milliliter label and the PG and VG ratio labels. Has his nice logo there, the lung punch vape with the punching bat or punching glove holding a tube mod. Um, proudly made in the USA. I'm pretty sure he uses all US um, ingredients here. But um, great job, Drock. I will be ordering more of the Bloody Boxer and the Contender. Have a good day and thanks for stopping by.